All right, guys, great show so far. John Shrek McPhee in this episode is gonna use the coach's eye to teach you about the importance of grip. I'm John Shrek McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. We're gonna talk about video diagnostic grip with the carbine. I'm here with Nick McGarry from Nemo Arms. We're gonna shoot and talk about grip. Nick, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, grip. One of the most important things about grip is that you utilize body mechanics to hold the rifle and negate the weight of the rifle. Rifles are generally heavy and over time in carrying these things 24-7, uh, a rifle gets really heavy. So what you need to do is you need to negate the weight of the rifle and there's some simple ways to do this. And, and what I learned early on is the tighter that the rifle is to the body, the more you will be able to shoot accurately accurately and at the same time you'll have as much speed as you can actually pull the trigger. Um, the grip of the rifle is based off of just some human best practices and the way the human best practices work is the arms need to be about 90 degree angles. Uh, what I see based off the internet all the time is guys are shooting the C-clamp or arm straight out and this is the weakest way to hold anything and if I gave you a, a 25 pound plate and told you to hold it straight out in front of you, you'd only hold it for a minute or so. If I gave you a 25 pound plate and I said hold it on a 90 degree angle, you could hold it there much longer for a much stronger, much longer time. What happens is this is a better way to hold the rifle. The rifle's much steady, it'll move less, and what'll happen is um, you'll be able to negate the weight of the rifle using body mechanics, and that's purely what the uh, grip of the rifle is. The next thing I see is guys, because of the 60-40 mindset of holding a weapon, is you use 60 degrees with a firing hand, 40% with a non-firing hand. Because of this mindset and this, this fallacy of the gun world, what it actually does is it tells the brain, you don't have to hold the rifle tight. And this is absolutely wrong. I say 200% grip all the time. Why 200%? You got two hands, 100% with each hand. It's a gun, hang on to it, it's gonna save your life. So uh, what I battle through grip is the mindset of having a loose grip. And once the brain starts to shoot the rifle and have a loose grip, what'll happen is you'll always have a loose grip of the rifle. So I'll have to reconvince your brain to hold the rifle tight even though the brain thinks it's holding it tight, right? The brain doesn't know a good habit from a bad habit, it just knows habit. So we're gonna re-tighten the rifle back up for Nick and we're gonna show him exactly what he's, what he's doing here. So as I go through the rifle, non-firing hand. A non-firing hand is about a 90 degree angle. Nothing wrong with this. This is the best way to support the rifle. And as we watch the video, Right, as we watch the video, you manipulate the safety, gun goes off. Now what I do see is as I mark the side of the gun, we'll see the rifle push back just a little bit as you shoot. So as the rifle pushes back, what you have to do is that shoulder has to be shrugged up and forward like I talked about in stance, and the firing hand has to pull rearward to tighten the gun to the body to keep that rifle nice and tight. The next thing is the non-firing hand needs to be at a 90 degree angle. And, uh, Nick's arm's a little bit straight here, so what I would tell him to do is blade the upper body, leave the hand in the place it already is, blade the upper body, and get that hand at 90 degrees. The next thing I would tell him is pull rearward with the non-firing hand as well. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna, both hands are gonna pull the rifle tight to the body. And with good stance and good grip of the rifle, the rifle's not gonna move at all as you shoot. As the rifle doesn't move as you shoot, you can literally shoot as fast and accurate as you want to at the same time. So um, there's some there's some body mechanics here that are going on, and one of the one of the main things about the body mechanics is the push pull, and this push pull between the firing hand and uh, the shoulder is the most important part of the grip, and this is the part that keeps the gun tight to the body. Because what'll happen is, as the gun moves rearward into the shoulder, it'll move rearward, it'll hit your body, then push your body backwards, and this is where your accuracy will start to suffer. Offer. So um, a good push pull with the firing hand, leaning forward into the gun, pulling rearward with both hands. I'm John Shrek McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. This is Video Diagnostics Grip.